I'm going to give you a, a quick view of the trunk here, uh, as some have asked about the space with the top down. As you can see, I've got the top down on it right now. There's a quick release right underneath the back there. And you can see with the, uh, the automatically retracting roof, it is pretty well stacked in. However, you'll notice right here, there's a button right off to this side. And so basically, way the way that's set up, you can kind of hear the mechanism running in the background. Press that button, and the uh, upper section automatically raises. So part of the retracting roof is set up so that you can actually raise that section. And then you'll see uh, this area right here. This is basically how the trunk is partitioned off. So what we're going to do is to take and uh, lift that. And you'll see that kind of latches to the bottom of the assembly. And then down here, you can see you do actually have uh, a surprising amount of room down in the bottom like that. And so the interesting thing is, if you try to turn, close it like this, with that in the up position, it's not going to let you close it because what you'll see is there are latches down here in the bottom that are going to prevent you from uh, uh, closing it until it's actually latched back into place like that. And of course, this partition right here, this is designed to show you, you can put as much as you want down underneath, but to not to set anything on top. So basically it kind of gives you a guide for how much space you have down underneath the partition there. And so that's what that is. Now that I've got that back in place, I'll come over here and press the button. And you'll see that it shuts itself down just like that. And so it can be closed again.